men, and my husband loves them. <laughs> I'm kidding, I have really good luck with men. I just tell him that because then he doesn't have to accuse me of cheating on him. Now, we just celebrated 19 year wedding anniversary, guys. Give it up. Thank you. Thank you. It was a very special night. My husband took me to this super market, and it was just. <laughs> Supermarket was Whole Foods, you know? So I must be doing something right. No, but 19 years ago, we used to go to uh, supermarkets and we'd go, it was pretty hot, you know? We'd go to the produce aisle and we'd tell each other what we do with the veggies, you know? We get to the cleaning product aisles because we were feeling a little dirty. Fast forward 19 years, we go to the produce aisle, that is right. Go to the cleaning product aisles. We actually use those to clean the house now. <laughs> By the time we get to the checkout, we just feel used. <laughs> My husband's seven years younger than I am. Hey! Thank you. Know. I don't have a joke for that, I just want to let you know. <laughs> more superior than he is. Like lately, he's been asking me to do this thing called um, work. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> I said, what do I need you for? I had three babies. That's not a big deal for me. He said, I feel like every day, all day, all I do is work for you. That's all I do is work for you. I said, oh my god, honey. You're right. Tick tock. Break time's over. Who said you could talk to me? <laughs> Wrap it up. If I ever did work, I'd work for my husband, right? Because I could take my own hours, long vacations, long breaks. And if anybody in the office has a problem with it, take it up with my boss. I'm sleeping with him. <laughs> if my boss has a problem with it, wants to fire me, I just assume se sexual harassment. No need for a march, ladies. Stick with me. I find it very hard to let go of my youth as I age. And by youth, I mean my children. Oh, they're so clingy and expensive. I have to pay for everything that my husband gives me. I have to pay for their food. I have to pay for their violin lessons. I have to pay other children to play with them. I'm kidding, they don't play violin, I'm not a monster. I went to this parent-teacher conference, you guys know what that is? That's uh, when the parents show the teachers that they give a shit. So I went and there was this one teacher, she was totally judging me. She looked at me up and down. She says, what is it like being a stay-at-home mom? I said, oh, what makes you think I'm a stay-at-home mom? She said, your pajamas? <laughs> I said, yeah, well, I'll have you know that this outfit happens to be a writer's uniform. Yeah, I write from home. She said, oh, who do you write for? I said, I don't want to brag or anything, but I write for this really, really large network. I'm sure you heard of it. It's called Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I up them on the daily. That's where I work. So I wanted to one up her, and I said, well, where did you graduate? She says, oh, I graduated top NYU with some Latin shit, sorority stuff, like, masturbate or come harder. <laughs> I'm like, yeah? Well, I have you know, you have to stay with my kid all day and teach him shit. She goes, touche. <laughs> I've been on Facebook too long, I know, because um, when people ask me what my favorite book is, I'm like, Facebook. <laughs> I'm a bit of a Facebook whore because I'm all over it, but it's safe. You don't get a disease and you can't get pregnant. <laughs> And, um, you know, I'm addicted to it, but, you know, I started a support group for Facebook addicts like myself, but now it's on Twitter, so we won't get that problem. <laughs> There's this one comment that just stood out, and it was, it was, it was blaring at me. It said, you're nothing but a white, pretentious, spoiled bitch. I wrote back. I said, Mom, stop. 